Hey guys, Greg here, Underground Graphics. Today we're going to show you a new item. This has been on my desk for almost a year to get this done, so I'm sorry for that delay. But um, this is going to be that A or that B pillar connect and that C pillar connect if you want to go all the way to the back. So we just did this on our Wrangler. Uh, we did this one in satin black. We're going to install a gloss black for you. That way you can see both of these colors. Um, we did the test originally in gloss black, and I liked it. And I thought, well, let's see what this looks like in satin. And I like this too. So yeah, just to give you some more options, um, I think that satin kind of gives a little bit more rugged look where that gloss is gonna look a little more VIP, if you will. Um, it'll be a five piece kit. It's gonna come kind of as you see here. Um, this is gonna be that back section. This would be that front section. Um, if you've got a gladiator, we'll have that just for that front option only. Um, and uh, yeah, so, and then you'll have to cut these apart. I do wanna ship those as they are. Um, so they know that there's front and then here's the back. Um, and again, it's a fairly quick install. I just did this. Um, we're gonna ship you a squeegee with that as with all of our kits. Um, however, um, there is gonna be some pushing into the stripping. Uh, we're gonna have to pull that back a little bit. This is really just rubber. So it's really easy to pull this back. But you are gonna wanna have that soft end to that squeegee. Um, the last few videos I've talked about um, those felt strips that go on the end of those squeegees. The squeegees we get for our shop are pretty expensive so we are going to start offering these blue strips um, to go on the end of that squeegee. Um, I don't know what they're going to cost yet. I don't think they're on the site yet. Um, but if you don't want to do that, just protect that. You can even put ma uh, some masking tape on the end of that squeegee just so you're not scratching that vinyl. So once we get into that, we'll, we'll go back over that again. But again, Pretty cool look. We fought with this for quite a while, getting that fitment just right. Um, you know, th this line to this line, if you come straight out, it looks like it waves. So we purposely put a drop in there just so no matter what angle you looked at it from, it looked what we felt was the best. Um, this window is higher than it is in the front. So it's, again, it's a little bit, it's a little bit tricky. Again, we felt that was the best outcome for that. Um, this obviously was tested with the Sky One Touch. So, that this back window does pop out, um, but if you have a hard top, I'm certain that this is still the same width um, for that. Um, but if there's a problem, please let me know. Um, that would be a quick fix. Um, other than that, yeah, let's go ahead and do a quick install. So I will remove this and maybe we'll speed that up as we're going through it and we can get started on an install. Now this material this is coming out pretty easy again we just put this on but this material is going to be your 3m 2080 um, so it is a wrap film it's going to conform very well to those curves um, and go in there with with ease i use no heat on this although heat will make it a little bit easier i did not post heat this because i knew we were going to do it again but once this is done i would recommend going back with that heat gun pulling back that stripping and just make sure that adhesive is set that you're not getting any air bubbles once you go back with a little bit of heat on that and it'll be just fine. I'll get this piece out of here. This is one of those kits I was, when I saw it and I've seen a few people around town with them I wasn't really sure if I liked it or not and the more I see it the more I like it. Um, I know it's not for everybody but it is kind of a really cool look. I think it's just because it's different. Um, and so we want, again, we wanted to do that, make that easy to do, so you don't have to paint it. All right. And that prep, as we talk about in all of our videos, I think we're using a 10% alcohol, 90% water solution in a 16 ounce bottle. Again, this is already clean, but again, just go back over that with alcohol. Make sure you don't have any contaminants on your paint. Um, again, I would go underneath that, um, underneath these, these gaskets. So make sure you get in there very well. You don't need to put the window down for this. Actually, if you do this, this gasket will come out. And I mean, it, it's up to you if you want to do that or not, but. I just did this and didn't have any issues with it. It does get a little tighter here at the bottom. Just make sure that is all clean. 
And again, you are going to get aggressive with that squeegee as you get to these corners. Like I said, this is ready to go, really. Just make sure that's all clean. So if you want to bring out some tape and just tape this up just so you can get your fitment. So again, this is that front piece. This is the driver's side, obviously. Um, so you're going to have four pieces if you have a four-door um, that comes with that. Now on this, just cut right to that edge. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. These will come somewhat cut to that edge so you have, you know, the shape of this. So this is the first part that's going to be a little bit tricky, is finding out how high or high, how low to get this. There's going to be a little kink right here at the bottom and a little bit on the top, but we're going, to, we're going to be looking at this bottom one. Additionally, we want that overlap to come to the next piece. So as we're looking at this, we see this corner, I want that to touch that B pillar, that center piece. And then I'm going to lightly look at this. And I really want that about there. So I'm just going to tape that there for now and see how this falls at the bottom. So let's move that back and tuck that in and I'm right there. See that corner is right there on that seam. And once you get it started, it's going to be the same all the way down. So that's that, that's that part you do not want to mess up on. But again, I'm going to make a mark here. Actually, I could have just done this. One there. And you don't have to hinge this. Again, this is wrap material. We talk about the hinge method, tape, tape, pull back, you know, and so on and so on. We're going to go ahead and do this as one piece. So, and I hope this doesn't scare y'all. Let me get my squeegee. Hope you don't mind me using this. If you want to do that, I'll talk about it as we get through this. But using that blue tape on that edge of that, of that plastic squeegee. I'm going to go ahead and just tear that. So I have a marker there. And tear at the bottom there. I'm going to peel this back in one full piece. Make sure we're doing this. We're not doing this outside in the sun. So you do want this in a temperature controlled environment. I am about 70 something degrees in here, low 70s. Tack there, line that up at the bottom. We're good to go. I'll come over just a little bit on that. And again, this one you can use that hard edge on. Now I'm going to go ahead and go all the way up. If it starts to wrinkle up a little bit, give it a little bit of pull. I mean, it'll, it'll come out, but I'm going to go ahead and do all that backside. And again, you were a little bit on paint there, so that's why I like that soft, because I don't have to worry about scratching that paint. And you'll see, as this starts to squeegee down, we're kind of going just, just to this edge, and then we're going to stop. You can remove this tape. If you want to save it for later, you can, or just have plenty of tape. The trickiest part I found in this is getting the masking tape off of this, because now I do want to pull that masking tape off. So if you just want to pull a little bit on that. Now we can go back and push that down. And so we got a couple wrinkles there. We can come back up and just make sure your hands are clean. And then with the squeegee that right in. And remember we're gonna go right under this right here so you can just make sure we keep that straight and then start to work our way in So we're going to get this all down now, and then we can go back with that heat gun after we're all finished with everything, and just make sure that's all good. But you don't want any, any air, any bubbles in that. 
and this is that part I was talking about. It's going to be a little tricky because it does get tight there. So I'm going to go right up in there, pull that back, and really kind of force that in there. And that will lay right down. See that little bubble there? I push that right out. That's the beauty of that air release vinyl. That's why you pay a little more to get the good material. Again, this is that 3M gloss black. Some people don't like it because it does have a little bit of orange peel look to it. That's just the way the vinyl is. Some of that will come out just, excuse me, being in the sun with a little bit of heat. But if you don't want that, you want to go with that satin. That satin looked really good. So there's a pillar one. Make sure you don't lose what top was and bottom was. And this one really just going to eyeball that top and I want that black. You can just use your thumb to tack it, but I want that corner of the black to be on this door and the corner to be on that door. And then come down and eyeball that to the bottom. And again, you can start center. Start working up, but it really is overlapping strokes. And that's a little small piece. And again, that tricky part is just getting that, that mask off of there. It's going to want to come up. That mask is tacky, but this is, mask is also conformable. We'd like to use this with our wrap, with our wrap films. Just want to get that started and then we can bring this down. Remember to pull 180 degrees against itself. If you want to pull right out, you may take that vinyl off until it's set. Take that soft edge. Now we can now that vinyl is unprotected, so we want to make sure we're not scratching that. And if your squeegee is narrow enough, you can just roll it right in there. Or we can open the door, roll it with our thumb. And now we're on to section three. Make sure you have a trash can nearby. I'm just throwing this stuff right on the floor. And now we're gonna do the same thing. Now we're gonna go back to that door or to that pillar. I want that black to touch that pillar. Same thing down here. And that should line up. I can come a little bit over, it looks like. But I want that crease just like it was on the front to get pretty close to that, right on top of that, that piece. I'm a little bit over on that side, and I can just kind of roll it and check and see where I'm at. So I can come up just a little bit. This also has a little bit of stretch, so once we tack that bottom, we can pull that up, make sure we're lined up there, we're good to go. The hard squeegee, I can see, I can see where that seam is on there. Now I'm gonna go back and get that off. And again, as long as your hands are clean, make sure they're clean, you can touch the back of that vinyl. I wouldn't wanna do it right in the middle. It will pick up anything that's on your hands, it will pick up and transfer to that adhesive. With those corners, I know we're gonna be wrapped around the edge. We have not done this yet to our Gladiator, but I will do that if I go back to the full doors. I saw that recently on a Gladiator, it looked pretty cool. Again, soft squeegee on the vinyl when it's raw like that. I mean, you can put this on there, just be careful with it. It will leave surface scratches, um, but again, with some heat, or with the heat gun, um, those will come out. Okay, so now you can see those scratches. I've asked Zach to kind of get a close-up on that and what that does. 
Those are just from the squeegee. Light surface scratches. A little bit of heat, bit of heat on that. That's about 90% out. I went a little hard there on the end just to make more scratches on there. But that's why you want to be, that's why you want to have that protection on there. And just make sure that's all down. All right, so now we got that corner down. We'll come back and same thing as we did on the front. We're just gonna work that into the recession behind the that rubber stripping. And make sure we get, you wanna be as, you want that edge to make sure we're all the way down that there's no air in there. And you can use your your finger, your thumb, corner of that squeegee. Get a little wrinkle there, but again, that's gonna cover up, so I'm not really worried about that. I just wanna make sure that this is thoroughly down. We gave a lot extra on purpose so that would cover up. And as we get to this bottom again, that's gonna be the one that's a little tricky. So I wanna keep, make sure I pull this up and it's gonna get a little more rigid but we do want that to tuck once that's tucked and I just got that tucked we can go back in there with the corner of that squeegee and get that down and again if you if you think, think this is pulled back and it's staying once this goes out in the sun that rubber is going to soften up and go back to its original position but already there you have the option you don't have to do the full thing I've seen some of it just like that obviously if you have a black top you may just wanna leave it just like that to connect those two windows. Um, this one with the color match top, we're gonna to go ahead and go all the way back. It's the same thing again, another cut. And these really, really do only fit one way, so make sure you're, you know which, which pieces you're working with. And again, I think that first one, once we got that one set, Kind of that same thing right at the back that corner i do want to make sure i'm lined up where i want to be so if you're unsure tape it first so i'm gonna make that mark again pull that away come at the bottom pull that away i'm gonna go ahead and lay this one piece That piece top, match that piece bottom. Come in just a little bit there. All right, we are almost there. I think we can get, I got a little bit of mask over that, so we can pull that right off the paint, easy to get off. Remember, even though we got, this isn't tacked yet, that's all right, we do want to try to pull with that though. That's how we got those wrinkles on that first side. Just kind of pulling up on it. See, those are starting to form right there. Just go nice and slow with it. Same thing. Pull that back, start working our way in. And again, you just wanna make sure you're going all the way in so we don't get any 
You want to make sure all that adhesive is thoroughly down. And again, I have used no heat on this, and you can see how well that vinyl is behaving. It's just conforming right to those edges. And once we get in there, same thing. There we go. Come back over. Kind of tuck that edge. Let's open the door for that one. You may have to pull back that weather stripping. Now on that center section here, if you look down in there, you are gonna see some, some body color. We wanted to get just enough to make this as easy as we could. Um, again, this isn't paint. We're not trying to do this in paint. Um, but from a distance, you're not going to see them. I and mean, I can see about a, I don't know, 30 seconds of an inch of white. Um, but even though we're wrapping these edges of these doors, getting into that V pillar right there, and the same thing on this back window. Once we do this back window, you're going to see a little bit along that edge. And again, we did that for a reason. Uh, we saw that if we went further into this side, it, this, you know, you, you're going to want to open up and, and black out everything around the other side. So it's just kind of following the same pattern all the way through. So again, we're gonna line up those blacks. Right on the edge there. I'm gonna come forward just a little bit. Which means I'm gonna bring this forward just a little bit. I'm gonna make sure that this doesn't kink up. So you want that line to be straight all the way across. So make sure whatever you have the same place here is the same place up here. And there's that corner mark there, a corner mark here. right to that edge and again we're going right to this top crease I don't mind this little flap that's hanging over we're gonna come back and pull if you can get that mask to get on that paint just enough then you may be able to get that started just like that and then get a get an easy pull off of that This one, be careful when you open that up, you don't pop that off. I could, probably could have come back, I mean, just a hair. I could see that corner is just a, barely over that edge of that, but again, not a, not a really big deal. And so this one's a little bit tighter for me. I know this is the, again, that Sky One Touch uh, removable back section. So I'm not sure what the hard tops are like on that, but um, obviously this will only work for a painted top is when you would use this this back back section. And then coming back into this front, again with that soft squeezer, you're just going to start working your way down. And you can even use your thumb or your finger for that. You're really just trying to evenly a little bit at a time. Let's get on this side. There you go.
And now we've made that second crease. And now we're in there, and again, depending on your squeegee, you want to, you do want to get all the way in there. And that's what you want. I mean, and you can, again, masking tape, it's probably, it'll work in a pinch, but you can even use a soft, an old shirt, microfiber, but those felt, felt uh, strips are fantastic as well. Guys, that's really about it. When we're done with that, like I said, I would go back and I would take that heat gun, um, go back and again, I don't think everyone's gonna have a digital gauge to see this is at 180 degrees or 200 degrees. But just get that nice and warm. If that gets hot on your hand, you know you're doing good. You kinda just go over that. And you'll see if there's any spots that weren't tacked. There's a little bit up there. Take that away, let that cool for a second. Go back. Especially these areas where we had that stress or that tension, a little bit of stretch. That's where we want to go back and make sure we get that, get that hot. And if there's any spots we didn't get, you'll see that come up. That air is going to expand and it's going to raise up. And again with this, we're gonna pull that back, pull back that stripping. And just watch your fingers. And if you need to go back and push it back down, you can. This may be a well, that window won't go down, but again, it'll take a little bit to get in there and just make sure that's all good. I'm really just looking for any areas that I didn't tack well that'll come right up. But guys, that's really it. Um, I'm not even sure what we're gonna call this yet, but you'll see that probably your um, pillar blackout, probably what we're gonna call this. And um, yeah, again, your choice if you wanna do that satin or do that in gloss. Um, on this vehicle, I think I would have liked it on the, with that satin look to kind of go with the graphics and go with the uh, the flares and, and so on and so on. But um, if you're kind of going for that VIP look, more of a, uh, a classic look, then I think that would uh, that would look good in, 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 in gloss black. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions, give us a call, shoot us an email. Make sure to, to like and subscribe, and uh, see you next time.